President Obama, you said hope and change. While thousands of Native Americans and non-Natives from around the country and the world are here at Standing Rock, and they have a message for you. You came to the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe and promised our youth that you would protect tribal sovereignty and sacred indigenous ways. Hello, Lakota Nation. Will you honor that word, and will you help us in defeating this? President Obama, please be the first president to keep your word to the Native people. If you're not thinking about your own generations to come, think about ours. We need water. You cannot drink oil. You can't shower in oil. You cannot cook with black oil. As this nation's first African-American president, I do believe that you have a duty to espouse a sense of justice because you also come from a group of people who have experienced injustice in this country. I'm very disappointed with how you've neglected to pay attention to this issue that's happening in Standing Rock, North Dakota. You left it to the next presidential election and it's not going so well. This is about your legacy and we need your help right now. American citizens are having their rights violated and we are being brutalized. Our human rights are in danger and our constitutional rights are in danger. They've both been violated here. We need you to step in now. So I'm encouraging you to step up and do something that will create not just change in terms of the pipeline, but permanent change in the way that the Native American community has been treated, historically been treated and disenfranchised. So please, I love you and I love what you've done for this country so far and I know that this is not the end.